What's up guys, how you doing today? I'm very happy to see all your faces and also I wanted to say the number of you guys watching is growing every week and that makes me very happy. But let's say that you, you there watching is not subscribed to the channel, why don't you just go and hit that subscribe button and that bell just to make sure to be notified whenever I post a new cocktail video, which is every Friday by the way, and I will be forever grateful. But that being said, today we're making five delicious classic cocktails using granine and not that neon red shitty stuff that you get at the grocery store. No, no, no. No, today we're using DIY grenadine because in that case, homemade is much better. So if you guys are ready, let's go. Alright guys, so today we're making five delicious classic cocktails using grandine. I thought it would be fun because I always had the feeling that grandine was an underestimated ingredient. But when you think about it, a real grenadine, a good one, is fruity, it's tart, it's sweet, it is delicious. So if you never had real grenadine in a cocktail before, it is time we change that today. But I'm gonna focus on the cocktail today. I'm not gonna tell you how to make the recipe of the grenadine because Steve the bartender told me he will make a video very soon on how to make a DIY grenadine and I'm gonna link it up here as soon as he posts it. And meanwhile, if you don't know who Steve the bartender is, which will be very surprising, but if it's the case, go visit his channel and subscribe right away because this guy is amazing. He's been doing this for years and there's tons and tons of amazing cocktail recipes and ideas on there. So that being said, let's make the first cocktail. All right, so let's start with the Skofla. The Skofla is a riff on a whiskey sour. I'm not gonna say that to every cocktail we're gonna make today, but obviously for classic cocktails, there's a lot of recipes out there, but the specs that we will be using today are my personal favorite, and they're also balanced with the grenadine we're using today. So let's start this recipe with an ounce and a half of rye whiskey. and then a full ounce of dry vermouth. Then we're gonna add a shy three quarter of an ounce of grenadine. Then in the Skofla, I like to use lime over lemon. That's a personal taste. And we're gonna use three quarter of an ounce of it. Then we're gonna fill our shaker with ice, give it a very good shake. We're gonna fine strain it into our favorite chilled cocktail coupe. And we're gonna garnish it with an orange zest. And there you have it, the skull vlog. Cheers. All right, so for the El Presidente, today we're making my friend Nabil's recipe, which is an amazing bartender in Montreal. I'm gonna link his Instagram in the description down below if you wanna go see what he does. So, for this recipe, we're gonna go for an ounce and a half of Bacardi 8. In this case, I'm using Bacardi 4, uh, because that's the one I had in my pantry. Uh, and it is actually quite similar, but if you really wanna make Nabil's recipe, use Bacardi 8. Then we're using three quarters of an ounce of Tio Pepe or your favorite Fino Sherry. Half an ounce of dry curacao. One bar spoon of Appleton Estate. And also a bar spoon of your house-made brandy. So a bar spoon will be an eighth of an ounce. So if you really want to be precise, that would be 3.75 mil. And then we're gonna fill our mixing glass with ice and give it a good stir for about 60 revolutions. Now you strain it in the Nicanora. And you garnish with zest of orange and you're gonna Express and discard. And this is the El Presidente. Cheers. 
All right, so now for the next cocktail, we're jumping into the beautiful world of agave with this delicious tequila cocktail called the Mexican Firing Squad. So we're gonna start with two ounces of Blanco tequila, two dashes of Angostura bitters, three quarters of an ounce of your house-made grenadine, and three quarters of an ounce of fresh lime juice. And now we're gonna fill our shaker with ice and give it a very good shake for about 10 seconds. This cocktail is served in the eyeball glass. I'm gonna strain it on the rice and top it with soda water. For the garnish, we're simply gonna add a little lime wheel. And there you have it, the Mexican firing squad. Cheers. All right guys, so now let's move on to the fourth cocktail, the Pink Lady. This beautiful cocktail may sound a little cheesy and girly, but it is packed with gin, so be careful. So we're gonna start with two ounces of your favorite gin. Three quarters of an ounce of your grenadine. And one ounce of lemon juice. Then this one is a sour, so we're gonna add an egg white. We're gonna fill our shaker with ice, give it a very good shake. Then for this one, I would like to dry shake it. So I'm gonna do a reverse dry shake. And using three pieces of shakers like this, I just use a second one because it makes a mess. Otherwise, give it a dry shake. Then you fine strain it into your favorite chilled cocktail coupe. And then for the garnish, we're gonna express and discard a lemon zest. And there you have it, the pink lady. Cheers. All right, so now last but not least, we're making a Jack Rose, which is a very similar cocktail to the pink lady, but there's no egg white in it, and we're using Calvados instead of gin. So we're gonna go with two ounces of apple brandy or Calvados. A shy three quarters of an ounce of grenadine. And three quarters of an ounce of fresh lemon juice. Then we're gonna fill our shaker with ice and give it a very good shake for about 10 seconds. And then you're gonna fine strain it into your favorite chill cocktail coupe and garnish with a lemon peel. All right guys, so this is it, our last cocktail for our green bean cocktail compilation. I really hope you're gonna like them. Leave me your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Hit the like and the bell if you wanna be notified when we post a new video. Until then, thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful weekend. See you next week, cheers. I have to redo it for the thumbnail anyway, so I'm gonna drink it.